Today is January 25th, 2024. It's 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I had received two words from the Lord yesterday. This is one of them. This one was received earlier in the afternoon. The Lord wants me to title this, this word, Who are you speaking for? Not I, says the Lord. He also wanted me to start with a warning. The Lord said, this is a warning. And if you continue to speak for me when I do not know you, I will deal with you according to the number of people you have deceived. The larger the deception, the greater the consequence. Before I continue, I would encourage you all to take this back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time, to take this back to him in the secret place when, when you are meditating on his holy word and ask him to speak to you there, ask him to confirm or deny what you've heard today. This is what the Lord said. What's this profane thing you have set before me, this abomination? It is like a sick animal laying on the altar. Shall you speak for me when I do not know you? Shall you continue telling my people lies, prophesying peace and prosperity when I have said no such thing? You cannot test the spirit because you do not have mine. Why would I entrust you with heavenly things when you are not honest about the little things? Shall you who lack integrity speak for me? Shall you who shun my commands to walk in love shepherd my people? It is only by my grace and tender mercy that I have given you time to repent of your wickedness. Your hearts are swelled with pride. You are so sure you are hearing from me. But why would I give you heavenly wisdom when I never hear from you? You know my word well enough, but do you heed my instructions? Do you honor my counsel? Many of you are prophesying out of a place of suspicion and distrust, speaking out against my anointed, seeking to discredit them, and insisting that I have called on you to do it. I am not the accuser of the brethren. Satan is. Yes, you are to expose the unfruitful works of darkness, but why would you do that? When so many of you love the darkness more than the light. You delight in evil and underhanded ways. You practice wicked, vile things, and then deliver utter deception to my people, saying, Thus says the Lord, when I have not spoken. Many of your prophecies are birthed out of jealousy and offense. You have filled your pockets on treachery and lies. You have twisted and perverted my word to attract their itching ears. You are storing up wrath for yourselves. Is there no end to your false divination? How dare you peddle your witchcraft under the guise of my son? Fools, can you turn one hair of your head black or white? Yet even so, when I give a command and it goes forth, shall your magic stop it? He who sits in heaven laughs because he knows your day is coming. Shall you make a mockery of my son and live? You surely won't. Have you no fear of me that you would teach this blasphemy and have it reach my ears? You are no counselor for the lost and wandering sheep. You are like the blind leading the blind. Shall they both not fall into a ditch? You teach people not to steal. Do you steal? You teach my people not to commit adultery. Do you commit adultery? Take the board out of your own eye before you start pointing out the speck in your brothers. Those who say they have no sin lie and do not know the truth. Are you teaching from man's wisdom or mine? Do you not know that the wisdom of the most brilliant scholar is foolishness to me? I use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. It is I who do these things. 
I, I will have mercy on who I will have, on who I will, sorry, and compassion on who I will. It is by my mercy that you are not consumed. Repent of your abominations. Confess your sin. Humble yourselves. State your case. Plead your cause. Let us reason together. Though your sins are like scarlet, I can make them as white as wool. And after you have suffered a little while, I will comfort you once more. But you must repent. Admit your guilt that it is I and I alone that you have sinned against and done this evil thing in my sight. I am a merciful God, full of loving kindness and tender mercy. Humble yourselves, turn to me, and I will hear from heaven, and I will heal your land. I will wash you clean of your uncleannesses. But if you refuse to repent, you and everything you have built your lives upon will be destroyed says the Lord. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I will not give to another. Humble yourselves or be humbled. I'm going to go over these confirmations with you that the Lord gave me shortly after he gave me this word. So in Luke, um, and I was in the New King James Version, he brought me to page 994 where three times the word shepherd came up and then he brought me to the word lying and then he brought me to daniel page 879 in the new king james version that says god of gods when he refers to himself as lord of lords he also brought me to jeremiah 21 8 and 12 to 14. proverbs 29 23 a man's pride will bring him low, but the humble in spirit will retain honor. Proverbs 38, just this part. It says, remove falsehood and lies far from me. Proverbs 30, 32. If you have been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have devised evil, put your hand on your mouth. Ecclesiastes 2.11. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had done and, uh, and on the labor in which I had toiled and indeed all was vanity and grasping for the wind. There was no profit under the sun. Ecclesiastes 5.2 Do not be rash with your mouth and let not your heart utter anything hastily before God. For God is in heaven and you on the earth. Therefore let your words be few. Ecclesiastes 5 6 do not let your mouth cause your flesh to sin nor say before the messenger of God that it was in error why should God be angry at your excuse and destroy the work of your hands Ecclesiastes 7 verse 21 just these words also do not take to heart everything people say Ecclesiastes 11 verses 12 to 14 the words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool shall swallow him up. The words of his mouth begin with foolishness, and the end of his talk is raving madness. A fool also multiplies words. He told me to stop there. Jeremiah forty nine sixteen. Your fierceness has deceived you. The pride of your heart, O oh, you who dwell in the clefts of the rock. You hold the height of the hill. Though you make your nest as high as the eagle, I will bring you down from there, says the Lord. Matthew 5.19 Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven Matthew seven twenty two to 23 many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and done many wonders in your name and then I will declare to them I never knew you depart from me you who practice lawlessness 
Luke 8, 17. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Hallelujah. John 8, 44 to 45. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. He is a liar and the father of it. Verse 45, but because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. John 8, 51. Most assuredly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. Jeremiah thirty fifteen. Why do you cry about your affliction? Your sorrow is incurable because of the multitude of your iniquities. Because your sins have increased, I have done these things to you.